am preparing to go to Cologne, Germany, where I'm gonna be attending the International Hardware Fair with the Triton Tools booth. I'm gonna be going in and out of a bubble of sorts, uh, building something, using the tools, so that as people are walking around, they can see the tools being used. It was my plan to build this tool at least twice before getting to Germany so I could work out any kinks beforehand. I used 1x12 boards for the project and I used the super gels and the track saw to cut up my pieces. These two tools together are a great combination if you don't yet have a table saw or miter saw. It makes cutting up the pieces very quick and easy. And I do have a free set of plans with a cut list on my website. So after cutting all of my pieces to length, I grabbed a roll of tape that had a diameter of five inches. And I butted the two ends that will later become the feet end to end and used the tape to trace out a circle. This left a semicircle on both of the legs, which I used a jigsaw to cut out. For the joinery, I'm gonna be using dados, and I decided to use the router for the first time to try to cut these in. So I took the fence that comes with the table saw attachment for the work center, and I placed it on the router table attachment. Then I also used the miter gauge and a push block to help support the piece as I was cutting in the dados. I first cut them in on both of the side pieces, then both of the shelf pieces, and then finally the top piece. With the dados cut in, I started gluing and joining everything together. So this particular stool is actually for my parents and it will be outside. So I chose cedar since it's naturally rot resistant. But of course you could use any wood that you prefer. I intentionally waited until the stool was assembled before cutting the vertical dividers so that I could get the height of them exact. And to cut these, I switched out the router table attachment for the table saw attachment. Now it might look like I'm using the fence and the miter gauge at the same time here, but I actually used a spacer block clamped to the fence. This allowed me to start my board off, butt it up against that spacer block, but then by the time the board made it to the blade, it was free and clear of everything in case it, it got bound up. After cutting the first one, I moved my board over against the spacer block and repeated. Then I glued these in place and put on a whole bunch of clamps. So today's video is sponsored by RZ Mask. I have been getting a ton of questions and comments regarding the dust mask I've been wearing. This is the M2 made by RZ Mask and it is extremely lightweight and comfortable. The filter goes inside the mask and it's made up of two layers that filters down to 0.1 micron. Instead of slipping on the crown of your head like a traditional dust mask, this wraps around the back of your neck and Velcros into place. I personally love this feature since I have a head of hair to contend with. There are two one-way check valves that go right in front of your mouth so it does a great job at expelling the hot damp air as you were breathing. Now this is of course great to use in the workshop but I've also been using it in other places such as when I mow the lawn or ride my dirt bike. I've been wearing this under my full face helmet and it fits great. They do come in three different sizes. I personally fit better into the small but my husband fits into the regular so just to kind of give you a gauge. However there is a better, better sizing chart on the website. So if you are interested in trying out RZ Mask, there is a link in the description where you can find more information, or you can simply go to rzmask.com. Big thank you to RZ Mask for supporting my channel. After all the glue was dry, I took off the clamps and cut two additional strips to add a kind of decorative face plate or face trim. I glued these on and clamped them for about another hour. And I think that's it. So this one is actually going to my parents' front porch. They like taking off their shoes before going in the house. So this will give them just a small decorative stool to sit at while taking off their shoes. If you're interested in building your own, then I do have a free set of plans on my website at wilkerdues.com. There is a link in the description of the video for you. Other than that, I hope that you have a good week. Uh, leave me your comments below and I will see you next time.